Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about microclimate. Microclimate is where there are local differences in the climatic conditions due to some prevailing local features. These conditions can vary quite dramatically in a very small area of a neighborhood like if a area which is located near some water bodies like pond or area located near gardens it will have different microclimate than the comparatively other areas of the neighborhood the variations are caused by a number of environmental factors and can you think of any of them so these my features that affect the microclimate are water bodies plantations type of the paving tree cladding direction of the wind openings open spaces and there are many other like the incident radiations so microclimate is the climate of a small area that is different from the area around it it may be warmer or cooler wetter or drier or more or less prone to frost microclimates may be quite small a protected country yard next to a building for example that is warmer than exposed field nearby or a microclimate may be extensive a band extending several miles island from a large body of water that moderate temperature can be absorbed so due to some natural features you will find that a place might have a different climatic condition due to its geographical locations geographical features like mountains forest water bodies and others micro meteorology is the study of weather related phenomena on a very local scale very local scale means for example the differences in temperature between the sunny and shady side of the tree or rock it also include variations in relatively humidity between a forest and nearby open area of a garden or a neighborhood visitation involved in the climate plants respond to their minor variations in climate mainly by growing its favorable site and not in unfavorable ones another example might be moss growing on the shaded side of the tree rocks or building but not on the sunny side of the road that also leads to some what impact on the microclimate of the area the importance of visitation by altering wind movement evaporation moisture and swell temperature visitation influences the microclimate of an area especially near the ground temperature at ground level in the seed are lower than those in the sunny or winter windy side visitation reduces the steepness of the temperature gradient above the ground surface and influences relative humidity and height of active surface the surface of any object that receive or is impacted directly by solar radiation can also be a cause of creating a smaller microclimate vegetative cover will also influence the extremeness and daily maximum and minimum temperature that can be observed in a particular area so there is a concept of developed environment urban suburban and rural communities are the three main types of developed environment which are being developed by human or planners architect or developers all three of these environments have both common and unique land cover type each land cover may affect local air temperature differently because of unique thermal properties of the building materials paving materials construction type of construction tone this area have natural surface and impervious surfaces as well 
impervious surface. So what is infer impervious surface? A hard surface area that either prevents or retards the entry of water into soil mantle is under natural conditions prior to development or a hardened surface that causes water to run off the surface in a greater quantities or at an increased rate flow. Common impervious surface can be rooftop, walkways, patios, driveway, parking lot, storage area, concrete or asphalt paving, gravel road, packed earthen material, oiled macadam, other surface that similarly impede the natural infiltration of the urban rain runoff. So this impervious surface is a great cause of change in the microclimate of the developed environment. Impervious surface and urban growth. As cities grow and more development occurs, the natural landscape is replaced by roads, building, housing development and parking lots. This greatly impact the microclimate of the area. The metro towns along with it a large amount of impervious surface have replaced the natural landscape and ecosystem. Impervious surface can have a great impact on the local streams both in water quantity as well as stream flow and flooding characteristics. This will also lead to great impact on the microclimate of the area. Impervious surface can also affect the temperature of the region and this will this is why we hear about urban heat island because most of the areas in the urban areas are impervious and uh, devoid of vegetations. That's why they create a lot of reflective surfaces on the earth and which lead to greater warmth. So what is an urban heat, light, heat island? As urban areas develop, changes occur in their landscape, building, road and other infrastructure. Replaces open land and vegetation with impervious surface. Surfaces that were once permeable and moist become impermeable and dry. The changes cause urban reason to become warmer than their rural surroundings from an island of heat higher than the landscape. So this is called urban heat island effect. So what causes this urban heat island? So increased emissions from the motor vehicles, elevated emissions of air pollutant and greenhouse gases from houses, from transport facilities, increased energy demand generally resultant in greater emissions of air pollutant and greenhouse gas from power plant, from transportation, from building. Higher te air temperature also promote the formation of ground level ozone that also leads in capturing more hot air in the surroundings and that leads to increase in the temperature of the area. Quality of life Compromised human health and comfort Warmer days and nights along with higher air pollution level can contribute to general discomfort, respiratory difficulties, heat cramps, exhaustion, non-fatal heat strokes and heat related mortality is found in most of the metropolitan urban areas. So most of the metropolitan areas which have more population density will so more heat land effect. Water quality, impaired water quality, hot pavement and rooftop surface transfers the excess heat to storm water which then drains into storm receivers and raises water temperature it is released into streams, river ponds and lake. Rapid temperature changes can be stressful to aquatic ecosystems and this can also lead to 
changes in the aquatic system, life of the aquatic systems. So due to warmer water quality, more aquatic plants and, and animal will grow and this will alter the ecosystem of the water bodies and this will also impair the water quality is the runoff of the water from the bed and uh, impervious surface carry out the dust and suspended particles which was once on the surface goes down to the stream of the water so what can be done communities can take a number of steps to reduce the heat island effect using four main strategies so what are those so first of all is the increasing tree and vegetative cover over the open areas which are available in and around the neighborhoods or along the road creating green roof also called rooftop gardens can also be a great source for reducing heat land effect using cool and green pavement or permeable paving blocks can also be a great tool to achieve this installing cool and reflective roofs can be also used to ensure that heat land effect is reduced green rooftop so what is green rooftop green rooftop is a roof of a building that is partially or completely covered with vegetation and soil or a growing medium planted over a waterproofing membrane the term green roof may also be used to indicate roofs that utilize utilize some of the green technologies such as solar panels or photovoltaic module green roofs are also referred to as eco roofs vegetated roofs living roofs or green roofs so these are a great methods of reducing the heat land effect that is created in urban areas so if we want to change the microclimate of a our neighborhood then it will be a great measure to promote green roofs on the buildings and then this will lead to a great changes in the microclimate of the local area so what will be the advantage there will be multiple advantages of these so there will be economic advantage advantages air quality water quality and heat dissipations so if we adopt green measures like green roofing permeable pavings and plantations creating water bodies in and around the neighborhoods and other places making plantation strips along the roads and carriers way will also improves this quality because if we plant more trees then it will have economic advantages as people will not fall ill and then they will be able to work harder and they will work for longer period of time if we plant more trees along the roads then it will absorb the suspended particles and it will improve the quality of the air and if we have a more permeable pavings then water quality also will improve it will lead to more precipitation in the area it will also lead to percolation of water to the ground water level and ground water level will also improve heat dissipation can also be achieved if we have more green roofs reflective roofs or we have installed photovoltaic plates on the rooftop for generating solar power so it will have a great economic advantages too cool pavement the term refers to materials chosen to reduce pavement temperature by increasing pavement reflectivity or controlling temperature by other means through choices of materials and engineering designs so if you choose some of the materials which are more reflective or which can absorb some reflect the 
direct sun radiations to different directions then it can reduce the temperature and that's why this is called cool paving so through design measures also we can achieve this construction of permeable pervious paving pervious pavings can be made of concrete asphalt open shelled stones gravels that are mixed in a manner that create an open shell structure allowing water and air to pass through and this will help in reducing the runoff of the water and let the water percolate to the ground so what will be the advantages because pervious pavings allows rain water to seep into the ground through pavement vegetations will grow more in the area it will reduce the need for irrigation ground water will be recharged water resources will be preserved storm water runoff will be reduced and storm water runoff quality will also be improved through this measure so air temperature air pressure humidity cloud cover precipitation radiation visibility wind these are some of the conditions that affect the microclimate of an area so climate the average weather of a defined region is called climate climate is based on long term accumulated data derived from weather observations and long term average temperature humidity and cloud cover climate are our perceptions of a long term average weather that is observed over a larger region generally changes relatively slower as average conditions changes due to some long term changes in factors that control the climate current focus on climate change is on the long term changes in global temperature that which is also referred as global warming green space in neighborhood so what are benefits that can be derived from green space in the neighborhood this will reduce heat island effect can provide opportunity for local nutrition food production increase physical activity of the neighborhood improve health outcomes reduce bp blood cholesterol surgery recovery time improves psychological cognitive well-being and child development increase social well-being improve air quality and reduce related illness because if green space is provided in the neighbor then small children will like to play elderly people will like to walk and uh, other members will also like to come out and then they will interact and socialize with one another and this will greatly help them in achieving good health social well-being and psychological improvement we will discuss public participation in our next lecture Thank you thank you for watching this